Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can use few modifiers and simple techniques to quickly create five different models and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do, please don't forget to leave the like, it will really help me and if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way, be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills to stylized environments and hard surface modeling all the way to full character illustration in the shortest time possible. So if you're interested in mastering Blender, check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty Blender file and first thing, let me just select the light and the default cube, press X and delete. And now we'll create two objects that will serve us as a base for all the upcoming other ones. And before you do this, make sure you go into the edit preferences add-on section and search for extra objects add-on um, that's the add mesh extra objects but you can enable add curve as well and just check the box close the preferences and now if you press shift a you should have all these different options right here including the single word so let's add single word and let's look from the front by pressing one on an numpad let's zoom in a little bit and now let's just press e to extrude and hit x to lock it on x axis and now just hold control and use right click to extrude a shape like this and now let's tab out and that will be the first object we'll need and the second one will be just plain so let's press shift a and we'll add a plane now tab into the edit mode press s and scale it down to something like this and now tab out and press g then x and move it aside like this and now we'll need to add some modifiers to those so let's select the profile here and let's go to the modifiers panel and let's add the screw modifier that's the main modifier we'll need and that will basically create the lat object like this and we still have the vertices inside so we can modify it however we want so let's now make it look a little bit nicer so let's go ahead and let's add a solidify modifier here and for the thickness let's go negative like 0.1 like this and now let's add the third one and that will be subdivision surface with two levels of subdivision so we get this nice smooth surface now let's look from the front again and we can refine the shape so this will be like the first cup we'll create so let's tap into the edit mode and we can enable x-ray view so we better see what we are doing and you can see this is not connected here so in the screw modifier let's enable merge that will help us with that problem and for the solidify let's enable even thickness that's another thing that will help us maintain nice geometry. So let's select these and let's just move them apart a little bit. So we get this nicer, smoother shape like that. Okay, and now let's select this object right here. Maybe we'll need it a little bit larger. So tab into the edit mode and scale it up. And now let's add a solidify modifier here. And let's increase the thickness like this. And again, we'll add subdivision surface with two levels of subdivision and let's right click and shade smooth. And now to make the creation of the rest of the models easy, let's just select all, press shift D, press X and move it aside. This will be like the source material we'll use to create all the other objects. And now let's finish the cup right here. So let's look from the front again and let's just move it right here and we'll create that handle. So let's press R to rotate tap into the edit mode and make sure you're still in the x-ray view so you can select both of these vertices here and let's press just e to extrude a shape like this and now just move these around to make this as smooth and nice as possible and basically that's everything we need to do now just hold shift select the cup press ctrl p and parent and now select the object press g then x and move it aside here now let's select these two, press Shift D, right click to release in place and Alt G to reset their location in the middle. And we can press one again for a front view. And now let's create a different type of cup. So this will be more like a mug. So let's tap into the edit mode and we can just delete these three, press X and delete them. Let's select this one at the bottom, press G then X, move it away a little bit and now press E then X to extrude. Now E then Z to extrude up and one more to continue so creating these supporting vertices we can create really sharp edges like this and now let's finish up with one more so it's nice and sharp up there and now let's tap out and let's select the handle object press g and move it right here 
we can rotate this a little bit and now tap into the edit mode and let's select these vertices and press E to extrude something like this so you know a little bit more symmetry in there but this is too round in comparison to the mug so you can press ctrl r and add supporting loops right here to create sharper edges there and there you have it you have some nice mug and right now we can just select everything here press ctrl p and parent and move this aside again so there'll be the second object and now let's say you want to create a vase or a vase um, I don't know. So let's select the base object, press Shift D and Alt G to reset the location. Press 1 for a front view, tap into the edit mode and let's just modify the shape and let's continue the extrusion and create a different profile like this. And there you have it. You have a vase in like a few seconds so we can just tap out press G then X and move it aside maybe make it larger if you want like this and now let's select both of those press shift D and Alt G again to reset let's select the cup let's look from the front and now maybe you want like a larger jar or something for the water so let's tap into the edit mode and we can delete everything here and let's start with just this one so press G then X and move it like here and now press E let's do small extrusion so e then z one more and then let's go like this so we have like a nice jar shape and now we can tab out select the handle press g move it up rotate a little bit and now tab into the edit mode and make sure you are in the x-ray view select these two words and press e to extrude a handle again now let's go a little bit larger like this all the way towards the bottom until you have something like this here okay cool and now let's press ctrl r to create a supporting loop that will make this a little bit less rounded so we have a jar let's hold shift press ctrl p and parent this we can move it away and now the last thing I want to create so we can delete this base handle press X delete select the cup press alt G to reset and now we can create for example a plate so tab into the edit mode let's delete these and let's move this away a little bit now extrude just a tiny bit to create that sharper corner there and now let's continue like this and we have a nice plate if you want to modify this shape or make it like a sharper you can press ctrl r add that supporting word press g twice and slide it towards the corner maybe let's make this shorter so there's your plate and these are your five different objects created in the shortest time possible using the same technique using the screw solidify and subdivision modifier and i really love techniques like this it allows me to quickly reuse different models and you know ideate for example if you're creating a kitchen and you want a lot of objects you can just make this in a few minutes and distribute it around your scene and if you're not doing like a close-up renders this will serve you as an equipment just fine so that's it from me today this was maybe a little bit different type of tutorial than you are used to seeing from me and i will definitely still make like a full animation and full illustration tutorials i just want to make something you know lightweight something fun something to expand your knowledge um, in some particular you know small way so i really hope you enjoyed it and again please let me know and if you did please leave that like and if you're new around here and you want to see tutorials like this even full scene tutorials hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day One, two, three, four.